here with Father Daniel and Father James. And I'm just going to ask them all about their church service. They have it Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock. And uh, I just thought we would bring some insight into what is happening in Niagara Falls. Maybe some of you don't know about it, but um, this is Father Daniel here and Father James. So I will, I will put the question out to both of you. How do you like Niagara Falls? Mixed feelings. Mixed. Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's a sad kind of city. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate that it's not more, more vital and alive for the people who live here. Yes, yeah. for sure. For sure. And, for and sure. you can see that at one time it was much more yes. alive. Yes, that's it's for sure. It's always sad to see it. That's for sure. That that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, now, it's sad to see all the, the boarded up buildings. Yeah. It is. Okay. It really is. I know. I know. And then you see the homeless, but then you see the boarded up buildings, and it's like, yeah. couldn't we do something here, yes. you know, to make it possible for what's, people to what's even wrong to get... the picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes, for yeah. sure. For sure. Now, tell me about your church and the time of the services, so that if anybody's watching, they want to come, you know, just tell me about it. Okay, well, our services... Our main service is always on Sunday morning. <clears throat> uh, it begins at 7.30. Okay. And it's a, that's a shorter service, mostly psalms. It's called Lord's. Mm. And then at 8 o'clock, we have our Mass. Okay. Mm -hmm. which, which goes for about 45, 50 minutes. Yeah, We okay. usually finish by 9 o'clock. Oh, that's good. That's, that's good. That's in the church here. And the church, and the church is St. George's at 1910 Falls Street. Uh, it's a beautiful church too, it isn't is. it? It, it is really right. is beautiful. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. I'm going to take a little bit of the church and put oh, it good. in this too, so people oh, can good. see it. Yes. You know, because it is a lovely church. Yeah. Father Daniel, tell me a little bit about about you and the services, and and just whatever you feel like saying. Well, I don't know where to start on that one. <laughs> um, I came with Christ Minister. I guess in 2010, and uh, when we were still in Canada mm -hmm. at that point, uh, and of course I moved when we had to leave Canada. We I moved here to Niagara Falls with them. Uh, it happened in two, uh, two years ago, okay. 2013 May, oh, yeah. uh, early June, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. when that happened. So um, but I've been here for some time now, obviously since 2010. We put the community here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so uh, I had I had been originally in Jordanville in Holy Trinity Russian Orthodox Monastery okay. for a number okay. of years, as uh, working as a librarian in the seminary library. Oh wow! Yeah, that's uh, interesting. And uh, thank you. But I left there uh, 2008, I guess it was. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, in the interim, I was at a, briefly in another small monastery before going to John Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, to work also in the seminary there in Johnstown uh, at the uh, Carpathia Russian uh, Diocese. Yeah. And, uh, okay. so. That's good. Now I know that you men do a lot of praying. Yes. And praying is so important. I think prayer is the key. The key to everything is yeah. prayer. Do you have um, it open for people to come in and pray with you when you have that time? Or is it, because I know you're a monastery here. And um, is there anyone else coming to stay here to be part of this monastery, or you know? There are several questions in there. I know there is. <laughs> First of all, prayer. Yes. Prayer right. is the number one work that we have. Yes. Um, according to the rule of Saint Benedict, which we follow, okay. the prayer is is the work. Yes. I and mean, all the other work, of course, has to happen. We have to feed yeah. ourselves and. All of the all the other kinds of things. Yeah. But the first work is prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And when he says that, he has in mind first of all what we'd call public prayer, which is simply okay. means it's it's not prayer that we make up personally. It's the prayer that the church gives us. Okay. And mm -hmm. has prayed for two thousand years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which we enter into on behalf of everyone. Yeah. Um, and that's the prayer that takes up. A good part of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, there are seven day daily offices. We call them. Okay. They're called hours, but each one doesn't take an hour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
and at space throughout the day so that each part of the day is sanctified. Um, so that's the first thing. And that's that's really what a monastery is mostly about. It's about it's, yeah. being being a, a powerhouse of prayer for the world. We don't pray for ourselves particularly, we pray for the world yes. and on behalf of the world. Because yeah. much of the world doesn't pray. <laughs> exactly. And yet it needs prayers very badly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's our job. And that's a good job. You know so it's more than a good job. <laughs> oh, you know, when I think when I think of all the stress and the, and the problems in this world even, like you say, in Niagara Falls right, for, for exactly. everything. It's really good to know, and I tell everybody watching this, there are people in this town that are praying for you, <laughs> right? You know, so it's it's good. I, re I remember when I wasn't living right, and but I always knew that my mother was praying. Always knew. And, you know, I would have uh, a situation arise, and I would call her, and she'd say, Ann, and all I can do is pray. All I can do is pray. But you know, it gives you hope. When you know someone is praying, it gives you hope for a better life. Or maybe that you will come out of your circumstances and that God is with you. And I really thank you men for, for, for dedicating your whole life to prayer. I really do because I think that is so important. It is so important. So uh, yeah, I can always throw the questions out and then I forget what I ask. <laughs> I talk so much, it's like, well, I know I said this, and I know I said that, but... The uh, other thing you asked, too, was, uh, are, are the services, daily services, open? Yes. Uh, most of them are not open in the sense that you, people could just walk in, because yeah. that's throughout the day, and yes, you know, that's sometimes true. we're doing something like getting ready for a meal, then interrupting yes. the prayer, and then... Yeah. Uh, but, uh, like, the main service of the evening, which is Vespers... Mm -hmm. uh, which is at 6.30. Um, that's the one that most people would come to visit for. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Um, so, yep. if anyone's interested in coming for that, they would have to come yes. us and we'll let them know. Yes, you know? yes. And well, you're, they let us know, actually. Yes, and, and they're located right next door in the rectory by St. George's Church. And... Um, I'm sure to set up an appointment or something would be good to say, you know, but that would be nice. Just so we know someone's coming. Yeah, so just so you know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's lovely sitting with, with you gentlemen today. I do miss Father Daniel. Father Dan, or not Father Roger. Daniel. I'm looking at you saying Father Daniel. <laughs> Father Joseph. Yes. You know, yes. he was a big part of this too. And he's went home to be with the Lord. and But he was a big part of this too. And, um, you know, he's in a better place. He's, He's praying for us and all of us, yes. like he did here. Yes, he was yes. Here with us, so. Yes. And that but, goes on, that continues on in the next world. Oh, it does, it does, it does. Well, thank you very much, and may God richly bless you, and thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers. And I'm sure everybody watching is saying the same thing. Wow, this is great, people are praying for me. And through your hopeless situation, you can always remember that there's two gentlemen on Fall Street, right by St. George's, that we'll be praying for the city. So, thank you. One, of the, other, one of the other things we do, yes. too, there are some people who don't pray mm -hmm. uh, because they don't believe in prayer or they don't have time, and we, at least in the middle of the day, say a prayer on behalf of all those who have said no prayers this day. Let us say, let me say, Our Father. Yes. Prayer. So even those who have forgotten to pray, we're doing it for you to some extent. That's but good, that's good. You should do it yourself. Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you men very, very much. I, I appreciate you, I appreciate you, and I really thank you. Maybe we'll do this again. Maybe we'll start a series or something, wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> but God bless you. Thank Thanks you. for watching. You too. <laughs>